The British Board of Boxing Control have formally and officially suspended Tyson Fury's boxing license pending further investigation into anti-doping and medical issues. Now, as far as the anti-doping, I'm assuming that is in regards to the alleged drug test that Tyson Fury failed in the early part of 2015 for the banned steroid Nandrolone. Both him and his cousin Huey allegedly failed a drug test for the banned steroid Nandrolone. And also the medical issues that the British Board of Boxing Control are referring to are to do with Tyson Fury's mental state. He says he's been suffering with, I believe, depression. And he says that's the reason why he's been taking cocaine. And that's another thing I'm sure the British Board are going to want to look into. Also, Tyson Fury in, role, in the, an interview with Rolling Stone magazine accused the British Board of Boxing Control of colluding with other shadowy forces to bring his career down. Essentially, I'm paraphrasing here, but that's the gist of what he said in the Rolling Stone article. I'm sure the British board are going to have something to say about that. In fact, he had a meeting with the British board and their suspension of his license is as a result of what took place in that meeting. And I can only imagine they must have been interested to ask him about those comments, or maybe they weren't. If there was any truth in those comments, maybe they don't want to bring that up with Tyson Fury in a meeting as regard, you know, in regards to him claiming there's some type of collusion between the British board and whatever other entities to try and bring him down. But for now, his license has been suspended and we have to find out what's going to go, what's going to happen with this uh, UCAD hearing, this drug hearing that Tyson Fury's got in a few weeks time. Him, him and his cousin Huey Fury have got to sit down in front of some type of drugs panel and... We'll find out, or we're supposed to be able to find out from these, from this panel, from this meeting, whether or not Tyson Fury is actually guilty of taking the banned steroid Nandrolone. And I'm sure the British board are going to make a decision based on what comes out of those meetings. If the conclusion is that, yes, he did take the banned steroid Nandrolone, then you can expect the British board to actually ban Tyson Fury and to revoke his license altogether. If it comes out that, he didn't knowingly take the banned steroid Nandrolone, him and his cousin Huey, then the British board might lift the suspension or have the suspension for a fairly short amount of time. We're going to have to wait and find out. But for now, Tyson Fury has been formally suspended. Let me know what you think about this news, people. Do you think it's harsh? Do you think it's only fair? I know a lot of people want to paint Tyson Fury as an innocent victim in all this, but other fighters have been suspended for far less then allegedly failing drug tests, taking cocaine by their own admission, accusing the British board of collusion in bringing their career down, so on and so forth. So, I don't know. Let me know what you feel about it in the comment section below. And if you've got any more information about anything to do with this Tyson Fury situation, then please drop it below in the comment section and enlighten us all. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.